guys. It's morning of the 13th. It's even high top hut. Stayed here last night. Uh, they have a really good spring. Probably the, one of the best springs I've seen on the whole trail. Uh, had a pretty good night last night. I did wake up a bunch this morning. I think that's just because me and Fjord both agreed we wanted to kind of get out early again. So I woke up about every 30 minutes from like 3.30 to like 6. So, but it's uh, 6.40 right now. Did I miss the, uh... that's not the road, is it? No, it's over here. You gotta like go on two, yeah, there it is. You gotta go on two different kind of trails to get to the shelter. So, uh, yeah, our plan today is to do about 24 miles uh, to the next shelter we're staying at. Which I don't, I forgot the name. Uh, but it should be a pretty easy day. There's a lot more water available. It looks like in the second stretch of the Shenandoahs. The past uh, two or three days, or two and a half days, there really hasn't been much available. So this will be nicer. And uh, getting out early again too will be nice. Uh, I think there's a wayside today. I don't know if I'll stop. It's uh, just a diversion from the trail, and I don't really need to charge my batteries yet, so I'll just uh, probably keep trucking. There is a, uh, tomorrow, there is a lodge though, with a really good restaurant, so I might stop there. But other than that, I'll probably just try and stick on trail and put out the miles, because I could have been here a lot sooner yesterday, but the food was still really good though. Uh, that's about it. So we do have some cloudy skies up still, but they don't look like really, really ominous. If anything, it'll just kind of be like yesterday, where we had like 30 minutes of kind of light rain. So. <sighs> yeah, so this is, uh, this is the trail again. And in the Shenandoahs, this is how they mark the trails. They have uh, concrete postings with all the information. Instead of like the wooden, or the uh, rest of the trail, where they just have like wooden signs and whatnot, here it's concrete posts. Which I guess it's because they'll last longer or something, I don't know. But yeah, back on the trail. And the sun is rising. I'll catch y'all later. Hey guys, this is the top of a uh, high top mountain. And uh, it's definitely living up to its name. So the sun's rising behind us. So I guess we're looking west right now. But uh, really cool. You can see a uh, skyline drive down there. And uh, some really cool stuff. But it's only a... Uh, seven o'clock so so I got plenty of time I'm just gonna stop here for a little bit oh there's a third one Hey guys, so I'm here at Bear Fence Hut, Bear something, Bear Rock Hut, Bear Fence, I don't know. Um, just saw a fox, uh, just like a hundred yards back on the trail and it ran out here. I don't know where it went though. But that was cool, so I've seen a bunch of deer today and I've seen a fox. Uh, but we got about 12 miles done, we got about 12 miles to do. And it's uh, almost 1 o'clock, so we're kind of far behind. But nothing too crazy. We're also by Skyline Drive.
there's the cars. So, I'm gonna keep going. I'll check in with y'all later. There it is. I'm guessing that's a fox, I don't know. Anyways, I'm heading down to the shelter because I have to poop. Hey guys, so it is uh, 4.45 right now. We're kind of around Big Meadows Lodge and campsite. Uh, the side trail is kind of just right behind me. But uh, just enjoying this view right now. We have, I think, about four miles left for the day. So, but I've just been loving these views that we have here of uh, Virginia. And uh, to think it's almost over, Virginia flies. Still have a lot of trail left in other states. But getting it in while we can. Hey guys, so it is the morning of Friday the 14th. We're leaving a uh, Rock Spring Hut. Uh, it's later today, it's uh, 8.50 right now. We're only doing uh, like 15 miles today. So really not a whole lot to uh, worry about mileage wise. Yesterday, the, like my feet and my knees and my legs were just all really, really sore. It was terrible, I was stopping like every 30 minutes for like 10 minutes. Uh, hopefully we'll be a little bit better today, kind of resting in. I slept pretty good last night too, which was nice. Uh, some family did come in around like 8 o'clock though, and they had a bunch of kids with them. And they were just doing the whole like trying to whisper but not whisper thing. You know where you're using the whisper tone but not the volume. So I could hear them from their tent to my tent, like, for a long time, it felt like. But well, I still think I slept pretty good once I got to sleep. And uh, it got kind of cold last night, too, which was nice. I always like it being, like, cold around me. So I can, like, snuggle up in my bag, which is nice. Uh, yeah, other than that, though, today, not a whole lot. Uh, there is a lodge, I think, kind of right along the trail. Uh, with a restaurant, so I might stop there, but it's only like four or five miles, though, so I don't know. Uh, other than that, I think tomorrow there's some way size, but that's about it. Uh, then we got this little, I think we have like just two or three climbs today, too. So not a whole lot going on. Uh, Fjord went on. I think she's going to the stables today. She's a horse person, so she's trying to like do a work for a ride, uh, like work around the stables and hopefully get a free horse ride out of it. Uh, then I met a guy yesterday, Chef, he started around the same time as Fjord, and uh, he went on too, I don't know how far he's going, but he's doing some pretty decent mileage. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll check in with y'all later. Hey guys, so I just spent like two hours at the Skyland uh, Resort area, lodge area. Uh, it wasn't really for me. They had a, uh, I got there like a little after breakfast close, so I couldn't have breakfast. And then uh, just, everything here is so expensive. Uh, you know, like $7 for a small old turkey and cheese sandwich and all that. So I just hung around for a little bit charge my phone, use the bathroom, fill up my water bottle, and then uh, it's like 12.15 right now, so I'm going to go for like 15 more minutes, get away from all these people, and uh, just uh, have some lunch by myself that I've already paid for, so, yep, I'll check in with y'all later. Hey guys, so I just got done eating lunch here at Little Stony Man Cliffs. Uh, enjoying the view. Uh, it's been a few day hikers out here, but uh, just marching or you know walking the 15 or so minutes from the lodge in the parking lot, kind of help thins it out. I think you can hear the kid right there screaming. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's been a great view, great day. 
We got a little less, about, I think about 10 miles left today, which is right on time. Uh, but yeah, with views like this, man, I can't, but I can't help but take an hour lunch. And there's no reason not to. So. Anyways, I'm gonna get going again.